Hello guys, this is Outbreak101. Today we are starting a new Let's Play, and this is going to be a continued Let's Play up until the end. Yes, Dark Souls 3 Ashes of Ariandel is finally out, and I will be doing a blind Let's Play, an actual blind Let's Play, not a parody blind, of this game. Now, as for the build, I've decided to go for the Painting Guardian set, because this DLC is going to be set in the Painted World, and I want to be a bit fitting. Also, it'll give me a neat little challenge, since I'm going to be using a pretty bad weapon, the Painting Guardian's Curved Sword. So, I'm going to be... In terms of how long this will be, this will be a bit shorter than my usual Let's Plays. My usual was around 40 minutes, but I think I'm going to start going for 20, maybe 30 minutes now. Just to get upload mileage a bit, make it a bit easier for me to upload the videos. Since they are of fairly high quality. Anyway, I'm going to be missing you, dear Yorshka. I'll be back when I leave. I'll be back shortly. I just got a painting to have a good look at. So to access this DLC, you have to go to the Cathedral of the Deep and go to the Cleansing Chapel. There will be an NPC there, and if you have the DLC, you'll be able to... There will be an NPC there, and you could speak with him. So, let's see if he's there. Better hope so, I did actually check. Ah, merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> Interesting. You have anything to say, mate? Wait. You've... Nice beard. You've the same scent as that woman. Woman? Then you must be an action one. You must be. <laughs> you don't know how long I've searched. Oh, Pretty long, I assume. Oh, <laughs> Out of all the places you you're you're in, why are you in the cathedral? Have you some relation to the deep in any way? It is interesting. Oh, oh, don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. Sure. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are Ash, then it must be fire that you seek. I'm a painting guardian. I'm supposed to go into paintings, explore them, review such paintings, see if they're they have good art, you know? That that was a terrible joke. Dear god, that was pretty bad. But I'm a painting guardian, so I'll guard your painting. I'll help it. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. They of Ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. It looks like a piece of pizza to me. <laughs> it really does. I'll take it. No. And then 
the ashes were two. The ashes were two? <laughs> There's another one? <laughs> I really don't trust that guy. His laugh does not sound like the usual laugh you hear in NPCs. He sounds malicious. To me, at least. Other people might have different... Huh. In some sort of cave. Oh, a Corvian. Lying on some... Weird... Uh, stuff? I don't even know what that is. <sighs> I can talk to you. Uh, huh. uh, have you just arrived? Yeah. How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Um. The bed looks nice, but. It looks comfortable, but I, I don't know. Beds just aren't my thing, mate. Ah. Ah, yes, of course. Oh, he responded. You're no yeah. exception. We've all seen terrible things. True. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. I so, doubt it. Go on ahead. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Uh, no, thank you. Praise the I'm gonna applaud this one just because. It's interesting though that a Corvian actually spoke. Like it actually spoke. That's the first. So they appear to have intelligence. Rhyme blue moss clump. Might actually need these. They're pretty rare if you think about it, so. All I could say is, um, this is pretty, looks pretty darn cool. Only the mighty may proceed. Okay, this is on a normal new game, not new game plus or anything, and I'm a level 82. This is actually the reason why I went for the short range painting curve sword, because I feel a bit too over level. Like, the recommended level was 70. And I don't have any characters on level 70. This is my lowest, so... I'm gonna stick with this one. Might as well have a good challenge. Snowfield. Alright. I mean, I'm never a fan of Let's Plays in which your character becomes... ...ridiculously overpowered. I want a challenge. Like, I want a game to be challenging. I don't want to make myself too powerful. And because of that, I would gladly do this challenge. Hopefully. I'll be back a sec, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. I just gotta take care of a few things, mainly. Anyway, let's check this side of the... Whoa. That is creepy, man. I am... Wow. <laughs> it's like this weird tree shaped like a woman. There's multiple. Also, I hear a lot of hollows.
Oh boy. Alright, our first one. Our first enemy. See how what they're like. This guy's got a shield, so. My weapon does pretty decent damage. Like it actually has a good scaling on That is really cool. Let me see that again. Dear god, that is cool. But I gotta kill you. Oh, Titanite Shard, thank you. Um... This weapon actually does good damage. It has a A scaling for dex on a plus 9, which is my current upgrade for it. And... Uh, but the problem is its range. It is super small. The range on this thing is pathetic. Backstab! That doesn't kill him. They have a... They got a lot of health for being mere, mere hollows. Ugh. What the heck? This guy's got a javelin. That's so cool! Wow! I sound so generic. Like, seriously. That's so cool! But really, that that is actually pretty darn cool. Nah. Please. That... No, that doesn't break his guard. That... The weapon art is... Would have been more useful if this thing had more range. Honest to god. But... It's best to cosplay as a painting guardian. I mean, you're in a painting. You're in the painted world, so it makes more sense. Also, that is a terrible place to throw. That is terrible aim with that javelin of yours. That leg splay right there. Jesus. What is this? Oh, it's just a soul. Not that useful. I also got a few kukris just to emulate the painting guardian just a bit. Since the painting guardians back in Dark Souls 1 loved throwing those damn kukris. So far, so good right now. We're doing fairly fine. Um... What the hell? Oh! Oh god, that... that... You've got very low health, but you... You have the creepiness factor, Jesus! Oh, and you got a poison jump. Still, it's like... It's this gargantuan fly. It has a human face. If you look at it, it's, it's... Yeah, it's so weird. If you look at its face, it, it's human. What, is, is this like the fly? Like the movie? That'd be... That is... Something. I, I never thought Miyazaki was a fan of the fly. Sorry, followers. Sorry, guys. But I'm too fast for you. <laughs> Feels like frigid wastelands all over again. What with the plain snow and all that. I'm a little Whoa! Whoa. Um. Well, the first thing I should say is the fact that that's a lot of snow. So much snow packed into that cliff that it was hiding a whole forest. That is. <laughs> it's amazing. That's all I gotta say. That is really cool. I really love that. That kind of stuff. You know? 
um, I may not be a personally a huge fan of winter. Oh, press point in. Wolves. A lot of them. Uh, good doggies? Good doggies, please? I'm d I, may I just... I, I just want to explore this painting, nothing too bad. Hey, I, 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 I got... I got... The um, souls, the souls for you to devour. Does that, does that count? Please, please. Um. Oh! oh God! These guys got a lot of health. Ugh. There's a lot of wolves. Oh God! Oh Jesus! Oh God! Crazy! Please, wolves! Oh, okay. Ah! Jesus! Tough buggers, aren't you? You just decided to stay put. Thank you. There's more? Oh my god, there's way more. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Gosh, there's more. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Ugh. No. This curse, this rage. If you guys think this is not enough of a challenge, then please leave, leave a comment. I, I could give myself Calamity Ring or maybe remove the Ring of Steel protection that I'm currently wielding. Also, lots of wolves. Can I just take a moment to say that as a programmer, their animations are smooth as hell. Like, seriously, those are good animations. Aww. That thing is so cute looking. Sith? Oh, Is that you, Sith? I'll be, I'll be good to you, come on. I'll give you a pet. Hey, bad boy, bad dog. Bad dog! <laughs> oh my god! That is so cruel, I ju what I just did. I just punched a wolf to death. <gasps> Poor doggy. Just reminds me of the room. Good doggy. Again, what's with the be wary of forest? I mean, I know I'm in a forest, but it's not really much to say. A lot of followers. What the? Um. Ah! Oh, Jesus! The trees! They're alive! Oh gosh. If you guys are wondering, uh, wait, Outbreak, how come you know their name already? There wasn't any items that mentioned them. Well. You. It's pretty hard to avoid. It's pretty hard to avoid the. It is pretty hard to avoid the names of one of the most common enemies in this DLC. Uh, this, but that is like the only enemy I know of. I know their name. This, I don't know what these things are, and I can't hit them. For the Jesus. So weird, man. They got frost breaths and everything. Ugh. Could have also went for a... Gosh, they do a lot of damage. And the frost buildup's quite ridiculous. Knock 
good. Plus, it is kind of hard to uh, avoid all those meta videos you see, like, everywhere on the cover. Oh, follower helm. I would have known what their name was anyway, so let's check it out. Looks like a freaking conehead. Helm worn by the... The Farron followers? When a warrior of Farron fell to the abyss, the tall, lean followers with their hollowed eyes quietly appeared in groups to hunt them down. Farron and its watchers fell to ruin, but the followers survived as a wandering pack of hollows. Jesus, that looks horrid on me. Especially with my current character. I'll stick with this one. Oh. My first weapon! Wow! Alright, let's give it a check. Let's check it out. The Follower Javelin. And it requires 12 strength, 12 dex. C in strength and an E in dex. It's a strength spear. Strength scaling. Light spear wielded by the Farron Followers. Balanced to allow for throwing. The followers attack in groups surrounding foes, shielding themselves and thrusting their spears at their foes. On a final command, they hurl their spears at their fallen foe to give the retired warrior an honorable send-off. And I could throw it as part of my skill. Let's check it out, since I can wield it. It's got a pretty standard um, spear, spear move set. So is this one, nothing really new. It's also pretty short range for a spear. It's, it's pretty short. Weapon art. That is so awesome. Always wanted a javelin in, in a Souls game. Wonder if this is actually viable. Guess we'll find out in the showcase videos I would be uploading once I finish this. But, anyway, let's go back to the pathetic range of a weapon that this is. Oh, I'll praise you because, yeah, force is a nightmare. I just checked the time. I got, I can go for maybe a few more minutes. Whoa. You are a Big ass wolf. You're pretty damn big. <laughs> I got a soul in. Oh, um. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Wolf man. I need to I'm gonna study his move set. Just for a while. This thing's got such poor range! This guy does quite a lot of damage. Jesus. Alright. I hit it! Alright, I, I get his moves now, let's try it. Jesus. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed by this thing! Well guys, I think that's gonna be a good first impressions video. So, yeah, that big wolf is pretty My tough. Oh no, no. Oh. That wolf is 
pretty tough. Anyway, guys, this is Outbreak 101, and I hope to see you guys again in the next episode of Dark Souls 3, Ashes of Ariando. See ya!